Well, here I am again. Uh, it's quite a while later, I think probably two months now. Uh, and I have excavated the, the area that I plan on building this greenhouse and I've laid a bit of a foundation. It's not, it's not your standard uh, orthodox foundation, but uh, some blocks I had laying around here on the property and I've leveled them all up and got them pretty square and uh, I filled it up with with uh, crushed stone. Uh, in fact, it'll be the same stone that I use for the grow media in the aquaponic system. But uh, I really didn't want to have to mix up all the concrete to uh, have an actual footer. So I thought, you know what? Once I uh, put this wall on top of it, I've got all this block here to uh, build the wall with. And I don't know if you can see right here, I have some uh, Dura wire, which uh, those are 10 foot lengths and they're eight inches wide and they lay right on top of these blocks. And I'll put them between each course. I think that will firm it up well enough for what I need for a greenhouse for that back wall which will double as a as a thermal wall or at least that's what I'm hoping will will happen and see that light spot there on the on the ground that's where I uh, laid in a uh, just a mock-up of a thermal mass heater uh, or a rocket mass heater that I plan on building in here as well so uh, next step is to mix up some concrete and start laying some block and uh, oh, in case you're wondering this beam over here on this side I really didn't know uh, how to build this this outer wall effectively with block and still be able to uh, provide ventilation to keep this uh, building cool in the summertime so I want to uh, I'm going to frame this side out and actually have some swing up doors that run basically the length of it that I can I can swing out a oh, foot foot and a half or something and allow allow enough air to circulate in uh, on this side and then I'll put I'll put a couple windows in each end, uh, crank out windows on that I've got that I salvaged from an old mobile home, and so that's that's the plan with that. Anyway, uh, keep you updated. This is part two. Thanks for watching. See ya.